Thank you. you know, we, we've mentioned a few times this afternoon the importance of people like yourselves, people who are leaders in your profession, uh, who have taken it to the next level, as Senator Flanagan said, uh, to be also leaders in the in the fight for better public education and to, for public schools to get the things they need because your voice will be respected because of your attainments and achievements. Uh, well, uh, the person I'm about to introduce next uh, as our keynote speaker is, I would consider, the sort of the model of what we're talking about. Uh, she is, a, of course, a nationally board certified teacher. Uh, she's a social studies teacher at uh, uh, Oceanside High School, member of her local, uh, a officer of her local. She is a student advocate as a mother, and she has found the wherewithal, the resources to be uh, an outspoken advocate in the public arena for public education and a tenacious opponent of those who would do harm to public education. And on top of all the other things she does, as a mom, as a teacher, uh, as someone who acquired national board certification, as a union officer, I mean, she has somehow found the, found the time to weave this advocacy into, uh, into her day. I don't know how she does it, but uh, uh, it's great to, that she does, and we're really pleased to have her here uh, to speak to you this afternoon. And I gotta say, on top of it all, she's one badass teacher. <laughs> talking about today, and, and that is Voices United for Public Education. But I sort of weaved it into the theme um, called Get Over the Name. And I'm happy that Matt said the name badass, because I get a lot of flack for that. And I'm lucky that I work in a place where I can meet with my superintendent, and she's like, Marla, the name of this group is killing me. <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm very, very supported in my district, and, and I think that's given me the ability to be able to, to speak out. Um, but I want to read some definitions of the word badass from the Urban Dictionary. A bona fide badass is somebody who doesn't care about anything and does whatever they want. An intellectual badass is a very smart person. They usually have an IQ over 130, but they don't act like a nerd. Well, I won't read that one. That's got a bad word in it. <laughs> um, a badass woman. A badass who carves her own path. So, get over the name. So this is my journey. Oh, who's that beautiful lady on my left? Do you know who she is? Who knows who she is? Peggy. 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 Yeah, I had the honor of meeting Peggy uh, this past summer. Um, myself, uh, Melissa Tomlinson on my right, Jamie Bryce Hyde on the back. Um, we did present at Teach AFT this summer. And we got a, a really nice chance to speak with Peggy, who is magnificent and badass. <laughs> so this is why I'm here. Um, 
I'm here because of an uh, activist organization that I am the executive director. I did not find this organization. It was co-founded by Dr. Mark Neeson and an Oklahoma um, education activist by the name of Priscilla Sandstead. So I'm going to throw them under the bus. I did not name this organization. They did. Um, but I am the executive director of BATS. Um, we started in June of uh, 2013, and it started just as a Facebook page. And when we talk about the essence of the attack on the teaching profession, if I tell you that when we booted this page up, it went, I think I was about the third person to become a member, and all of a sudden it was 10,000, and then it was 15,000, we were like, oh my God, what's going on here? And it, it was crazy. Um, this past year, we have attained 501c4 status, and we have a great board, and now I'm executive director of a nonprofit. Um, so I tell people, get over the name and focus on the work. And a lot of the work that we've done for BATS um, is a lot about being teacher leaders and about making sure that our profession is an attack and it's respected, period. Doesn't get any simpler. Um, currently, our social media outreach is about 70,000. I'm probably underestimating on various social media. Uh, we have bats in every state. Um, we have a Facebook and Twitter page in every state. We're very, very well organized, as teachers are very good at doing. Um, and I'm the very proud executive director of, of the group. Just some social media stuff. Um, if you're interested, we're pretty much on everything, Twitter, Pinterest, Facebook. We have an open and closed page, Instagram, and we have a, a very, very active blog. So this is what I tell people. Get over the name, focus on the work. And these are some of the things that we've done as teacher leaders because we believe in this profession. We believe it's a noble profession. Um, we believe it's under attack. And we believe that there are entities in the country that are seeking to get rid of public school teachers. So we push very, very hard. We actually have uh, a piece of legislation right now in ESSA, um, and it is actually in Title II, Section 2301N, uh, where districts can now use Title II money to research and report back on teacher workplace conditions. Um, this, was J this was thanks to the work of um, Jamie Bryce Hyde, uh, she's our quality of work life um, committee leader and her team and with also the American Federation of Teachers um, and their research team who we partnered with in doing, you guys probably filled out a really long survey, um, that was a very big part of it. And we were very fortunate that Senator Booker and Senator Bennett on the federal level sponsored legislation and so BATS actually has legislation in ESSA. Um, the other thing we did was this past summer, we swarmed on DC. There were about 36 uh, states represented and we made uh, 60 appointments at the Capitol. And we went and we met with federal lawmakers at the Capitol. Um, and that was, that was really amazing. Um, also this summer, uh, we wrote and submitted uh, an amicus brief with the help of Bruce Letterman. Do you guys know who Bruce is? Mm -hmm. His wife, Sherry, is actually suing New York State Education oh. Department over her BAM score. So Bruce was super awesome, and um, I reached out to him and said, Bruce, I, we wrote this amicus brief, and I said, we need someone, we need a Supreme Court lawyer. Do you know anybody? And he goes, well, I'm a Supreme Court lawyer, and I'll file it for you. And it ended up being this amazing document, and we filed it with the Supreme Court. And uh, Melissa and I actually went to the proceedings. We stood out of, um, outside the court for three hours in the freezing cold and got in and actually saw the proceedings. Um, we currently are going to be trying for two grants uh, with the United States Department of Education to study teacher workplace conditions and outcomes on um, student learning. So we're, we're really busy. Uh, we appear on three radio stations regularly and uh, we consider ourselves the voice of working educators. And we're an unbridled voice. We, you know, Tell it like it is. So. And you testified in front of the Department of Ed? Yes, I did. A couple weeks ago, I um, testified in front of the DOE um, for ESSA Title I. Um, I think that we wrote a blog, maybe $331 million worth of Gates money was in the room. And 
there were two two or three voices there that that didn't accept Gates money, and I was we were one of them. So it was interesting. So if you're not convinced yet, Time doesn't have a problem with the name. Um, as you you guys remember the cover that Time did that were all rotten apples. Yes. So Bats wrote a response to that, and they published it, and we let them have it. And we told them that we believed that they were journalistically irresponsible for publishing something like that. Um, and that certainly wasn't indicative of, of the great profession of teaching. So I'm hoping that maybe you're over the name by now. So this is the, the thing that, that I'm proudest of. Um, and I could never fit all the pictures on there that I would want to fit, but I just took a little sampling on how uh, as teachers, we've united as Voices for Education. We're, we're mobilized in every state. And um, one of the people that I really admire the most, do you guys know who Brother G2 is? G2 Brown from Chicago? He's standing here. That's Randy Weingarten, by the way. Have you heard of the, the Diet 12, the 12 parents who went on a hunger strike this summer? Um, I think one of the greatest compliments was Brother G2, who was one of the hunger strikers. They went on strike for 30 days because they were going to close their only public high school in Diet in Chicago. Um, and one of the things that G2 said about us uh, when he made a visit to Brooklyn and was at a forum, he said, man, you bats are everywhere. He goes, everywhere I go, you're there. So that was the greatest compliment I think that we've ever gotten. But just some of the ways that we're united, so you can see it's not just me standing here in a room with you, to share some of these great voices. You guys remember when Chris Christie yelled at that teacher? She's the assistant executive director of BATS. That's Melissa Tomlinson. This is Jamie Bryce. Hi, Jamie is actually a teacher up in Horsehead. Um, this is her testifying at the U.S. Department of Education two weeks ago. And she lost her mind because she was the only working teacher in the room. And if you ever have a chance to see the videotape, she's going to be proud. Um, this is Michael Flanagan. He's teaching the Bronx on TV, also uh, testifying. These are our Broward bats from Broward, Florida. And they were uh, protesting in Hollywood. This is Wilma DeSoto at a meeting at the U.S. Department of Education about the quality of work life, life survey. These are our Nevada bats protesting on the Las Vegas Strip. Uh, these are our Wabats, Washington Bats. They're protesting Bill Gates. Um, we've done an immense amount of work with Brother G2 and Journey for Justice. This is our NEA Bat Caucus. Where's Catalina? Here. Right. No, she's here. She's yeah, she's still here. This is our NEA Bat Caucus. We actually have a caucus in the National Education Association. Um, we're now at about 250 people um, in that caucus that represent about 33 states. And this is one of the greatest photos that I'm most proud of. These are a variety of bats at Bernie Sanders' office last year. Um, this is just before they walked into the office and they occupied his office, refused to leave until his education assistant got on the phone with me. And I got a call in about 45 minutes and he spoke to me for about two hours. So this is the way that we're all united. And we don't all meet, but we unite on social media. Um, and we do all kinds of things to protect the teaching profession, and that's very, very important to this organization. Um, uh, and this is really what drives us, because we're, we're teachers. I almost said we're just teachers. I don't like to say that. But this is one of our favorite memes that we've done, um, and it represents teachers from all over the country. We are teachers. We will teach you to read, to understand, and figure out the world with math, science, and social studies, to express yourself in writing and movement and the arts. We will help you find your gifts, your patch, passion, your future. Teaching is our skill, but building tomorrow is our profession. And I think a lot of people have forgotten that. We build tomorrow. This is um, my team. And I have the most phenomenal team in the universe. They don't get paid a dime to do any of this work. They've done it for three years. Most of them are teachers, retired teachers, higher education people, parents. Um, I, I'm surrounded.
surrounded by a great team. When we talk about being united for public education, we talk about surrounding ourselves with great people. And that's kind of what we've done here in the room. So this is our, our bat team. But one of the things, and, I, and I'm going to close with this slide, you know, one of the things I talk to Jen a lot about when I talk around the country or whatever it is that I'm doing, one of the things that has always driven me since day one, and, and I get angry with people when they start bashing teachers and talking down public education and, and failing schools. I hate that word. Don't you hate that word? All these failing schools. Mm -hmm. There's children in these schools. I always go back to NBC's five core propositions, and I, I look at what each of these starts with. Teachers are committed to kids. Teachers know what they're doing. We know the subjects we teach. We've gone to school and learned these subjects. We're responsible for the children in our classrooms. They're not data points to us, they're children. We think about our practice and we reflect and we want to be better. And we are members of learning communities. And I return back to this all of the time. And I think what's led me here is that I will go down kicking and screaming until the last public school teacher is left maybe in the last public school in the nation um, trying to fight to preserve this fabulous, noble profession. And I invite all of you to join that fight. Um, I thank you for being teachers and doing what you do. Um, and I'm hoping that you also will be united in one voice in preserving the profession and public education. So thanks for your time.